If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glisten Ralph. Here with two quick announcements regarding the prized format, this fan format that I created. It lets you use cards from From the Vault sets or Masterpiece sets. And we'll get more onto that second uh, part in just a second. But the first announcement is actually what I hope will be the only bannings in the format. Uh, four cards. But a little bit of background is required first to understand why these cards are being banned so soon in the format. So back in the day, actually even now, there's something called the reserved list. It's cards that were printed a long time ago that are not to be reprinted as functional reprints anyway in paper, so this doesn't apply to Magic Online, ever again. That's the idea. However, there used to be a loophole in that you could have promotional versions of cards, so a judge promo for instance, or from the vault, and these would be exceptions to that. Uh, that apparently did not fly very well with some people who supported the reserve list, and so Wizards of the Coast changed that policy. So now we won't be getting any more reserve list cards in paper, even in promos. So why does this matter for the format? Well, it's not just judge promos. There were four from the vault cards that got this reprint. They were all in from the vault relics. They were Karn Silver Golem, Mastacore, Memory Jar, yes, Memory Jar, and Mox Opal. Now, it's important to understand that I don't want the price of a given card to figure, to factor into whether or not it's ban worthy in this format. However, because these are all on the reserve list, we can be sure, notwithstanding a policy change, that they will continue to be harder and harder and harder to get. Demand may increase, but supply is capped. And so that being the case, I think that it's good for the growth of the format if these cards are just banned. They're specifically not allowed. That still ha leaves you with 290 cards in the format, plus what I'm about to get to in just a second. All of these cards, I would argue, are certainly playable. Mox Diamond is the most expensive. Uh, you can find, I forget whether it's the From the Vault or the Stronghold, the original printing, that's worth over $120 for one. And it's a card that could easily be a four of in certain lists, like Stacks, for instance, or we're so close to having lands in this format, and Mox Diamond would slot in easily right there. I, that's, that's hard for a lot of people to do. And yes, there are other expensive cards in the format, but at least there's the possibility that they'll be reprinted at some point. Especially if there's enough demand. Okay, so that's the first bit. Now that we have that downer moment out of the way, let me go to the other side of it. We're actually adding cards. 26 cards are being added. And no, they're not from Rivals of Ixalan. There's no Masterpiece series in that. We're actually going back to what I hope will be the only time that we add cards in the past to the format. And they are Ugin's Fate promos. There are 26 of them. Now, it's important to understand here, they aren't really masterpieces, but they resemble them in some important ways. For one, obviously these are all going to be the prized versions of those cards. So in Ugin's Fate, Ugin the Spirit Dragon is going to be more valuable, more prized than a regular Ugin the Spirit Dragon. That's kind of obvious, right? And in that sense, it resembles a masterpiece version of the card. The alternate art helps in, on an aesthetic, on a surface level, but that's not the end of the world. It's also important to note that unlike most other promos, these are searchable on Gather, which is how a lot of people will find out about the format. See, that's part of the reason why some judge, why judge promos in general are not part of this. I've gotten that question a number of times, why not this promo, that promo, and judge promos come up. Part of the reason is because they're not searchable on Gatherer. And that's a big deal for a lot of people who, like me, when I deck brew in any format, I use Gatherer. There are other sites like Scryfall or CubeTutor, but I use Gatherer. It's easy, even if it's not the most comprehensive site, it's easy to use. Okay. So that's part of it. It's also worth noting that unlike Judge promos, Ugin's Fate promos don't add any new reserve list cards. If we allow Judge promos, then we're allowing Wheel of Fortune, yes, Wheel of Fortune, and Gaia's Cradle 
<laughs> in as well. And that's, that's not where we want to be. Power level notwithstanding, it kind of defeats the purpose of banning some restricted cards, some reserve list cards, if we allow these in. Or, we'd have to ban those as well, and there are a hefty number of judge promos that would get the ban under this. Um, and then, I will say, while I don't want to take metagame considerations uh, into account in general, the fact that it adds a number of other cards, including some low-to-the-ground creatures that help out white and black especially, which, yeah, there are enough white creatures you could get away with it, Black really doesn't have any weenies in the format otherwise. Um, and so, and this adds some, so that's good. You're also losing artifacts from the reserve list ban I just mentioned, but you're gaining five new ones and Ugin the Spirit Dragon. And because of the ones that you're getting, especially Ugin, suffice to say that Mud can now be a thing if you want to play Mud in prized. It's a new archetype, because now Mud has a win con. Ah. So that's it. That's my quick little announcement for you about Prized. If you have any suggestions for me, feel more than free to leave them in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this. I will update your uh, links in the description of all the Prized videos with the list of cards, and we'll try to get the, cu the Cube Tutor updated as well. So, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye-bye!